Hello, my name is Netta and my partner's name here is Thomas. We are here today to show you what friction is and what the important concepts around friction are. Here we have what we like to call friction addiction. This project will help you understand what friction is and what the important concepts around friction are. Our physics concept is friction and that there are different amounts of friction between two objects. Friction is the resistance between an object and a surface. An object that has a rough surface will have more friction. An object that has a smooth surface will have less friction. They are rough and smooth because there are valleys and hills on the surfaces. Rough surfaces have big valleys and hills, so they can interconnect with each other well. And if the valleys and hills are small, they can't interconnect with each other as well. Before you start trying out the project, there are some instructions you should follow before you use it. First, get out the worksheet in a pencil and read the instructions. Once you have read over the instructions, you can start. To use a contraction, you will roll down one of the balls on one of the surfaces while timing it. Once you are done with that, you write your times on the worksheet. To make sure that you have the correct times, start the timer right as you let go of the ball and stop the timer right as it hits the backboard. Once you've rolled the ball down all the ramps, answer the question at the bottom of the worksheet. You can use different balls if you want to and you can use the contraption multiple times. First, write your name and your partner's name, if you have a partner, in the date on the t at the top of the paper. Once you're done with that, get the timer and the ball that you would like to use. Put the ball in the first room, then let go of the ball. But right as you let go, start the timer. Watch the ball go down the ramp, and once the ball hits the backward, stop the timer. Then look at your timer and see what you got. Write the time that you got for that ramp in the section where it belongs on the worksheet. Do this for every ramp slash surface. Once you have timed and rolled every ramp, then answer the question at the bottom of the worksheet. After you watched the balls roll down all the different surfaces, you would, ha you would have seen what we like to call, and what everyone likes to call, friction. Since there are multiple different surfaces, this sh can show how different the difference in the surface can cause a difference in friction. For example, if I were to roll a ball down the cardboard, you can clearly see how the ball travels faster than if I were, if I were to roll it down the turf. This is because there is more friction between rougher surfaces and smoother surfaces. As we can see, the wood is smooth, but the sandpaper is rough. The turf is also rough and the cardboard is also smooth. Then the curated paper is a thing that is the roughest, which makes it go the slowest. Before we wrap this video up, let's go over some key vocabulary and definitions. When we ask a question, you are welcome to stop the video and try to answer it on your own. What is friction? Friction is a resistance between an object and a surface. Why does friction change depending on what the surfaces and objects are? Friction changes depending on what the surface and objects are because if there's a rough surface, that will make the object go slower. The object will go slower because there are bumps on the surface or the object. 
Well, after this video, I sure hope that you know what friction is and how the surface can change the amount of friction there is. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a nice day.